Hi friends, editing Serena here and I just realized that I didn't have the mic on for this week's videos for their intros so welcome to the video and we're just gonna jump right in as if this was the intro and when I talked about so enjoy all this b-roll until I start talking again in the moment of the video. Didn't realize that the days that I filmed and now I'm editing and it's too late to just go back. So here's your intro, enjoy. still and I'm thinking right here is where like my pops will go and if I end up getting any more like different versions of the books I think they'll go here too so I'm gonna leave this space open for now I think so that they don't fall over I'm going to put this little mug here this has all my bookmarks in it and like magnets and stuff like that just so that they don't like capsize over keeping with the theme of related books and authors and things like that. I think the next shelf is going to be my book of the month books. I have enough, I think, that'll fill a whole shelf. So I'm gonna grab those and then kind of like time-lapse the rest of the shelf because I'm probably gonna be very indecisive and you guys will just see me like rearrange until I feel like it's good. So let's get going. <laughs> Actually quite shocked that I've only accumulated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven book of the month books. I used to always add on, and then I kind of stopped because I wasn't like crazy about the selection, and I skipped like five months last year in 2022. I just thought I had more. I guess not. Okay, well. I'm kind of happy they don't fill up a shelf coming. I feel better because I am like really, really behind on Book of the Month books. So I need to catch up, like majorly need to catch up. And for these, I just put my little Captain America pop next to them again, so they don't tip over. I need something else though to kind of fill the shelf. Oh, update, I did put Twilight next to Harry Potter because I don't really have a spot for Twilight. And I just figured because it's all like fantasy and it just made sense down there. I don't know, don't don't ask, it just made sense. What's gonna go next to Captain America? Cause I feel like the hard covers, they're gonna, they're gonna fall. I also have to figure out where I'm gonna put this. I think I'm just gonna slip it in the shelf for now and put maybe a little plant. I have these little plants that I need to figure out where to put, the, uh, where to put them. So I'm gonna put that there. Fun. Okay, it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. So my next two shelves are going to be, I think, more hardcovers because this whole shelf is primarily hardcovers. I have some paperbacks, but it's just because they belong with the series. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do some hardcovers and organize them by genre. When I took them off my shelf, like my other shelf, I should have kept them by genre, but I didn't. <sighs> so maybe I'll do thrillers. I think I really only have thrillers and maybe like historical fiction. 
as hardcovers and then all my paperbacks are basically romance and some thrillers. So let's get them on the shelf. I also have little Iron Man, He's literally the cutest. Also my favorite Marvel superhero as of right now. I am in the middle of watching Loki, not really in the middle, but I'm on episode, we just literally finished episode one. So I am going through them. I can give you guys updates if you're curious on my thoughts, just message me and I'll let you know. So let's get some hard covers up in here. Let's get some hard covers in these shelves and then we will move on to this one behind me. done completely done the top is thrillers the second shelf ended up being like literary fiction and non-fiction and just like random stuff that i didn't have a spot for and iron man made it over there captain america's down there and then i just turned my little like hanging fake plant so that i draped over and i have some stuff up there i don't know if it's staying there i have to decide but now this ended up being all hard covered books for the most part and then like I said before, just like whatever series had paperbacks, I just put them down there. Now the shelf in front of me is going to be all paperbacks, which I'm very excited about actually, because most of them are the same height. So it'll be very aesthetic. Um, this side has like highs and lows. So I organized it the way I did because it's just easier for me to find books that way instead of just going like in size order. So now we're gonna do the paperbacks. Really excited about this side. This side makes me happy. So I want to like decorate it super aesthetic, kind of like this one, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. <laughs> too many romances to fit perfectly on a shelf. I'm working on thrillers now and it's my like OCD is kicking in about all of them not being the same size, but it's fine. It's just, I'd rather organize them by author last name because I like having books from, it's like a little fuzz. I like having books from the same author together because then I can go through their backlist. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm basically at the point where I'm doing literary fiction and just like randoms that I have. So that's what I'm working on now. Just like standing all of these up and then I'm gonna do nonfiction, which probably would go on the same shelf as literary fiction. Is that, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna like grab these books at once to see where I wanna put them. This one. So, we're just about done. I don't know where I'm gonna put the books that I already read though. I don't know if I wanna like mix them in on these shelves because then if I do that I have to move I should like think about this now actually I would have to move thrillers down because I have more romances and then I can have a whole second shelf for romances which I think makes sense because I am somehow turning into a romance reader when I started out as a strictly like thrillers reader so I think that's what I'm gonna do I can't believe this shelf is like already maxed out. I don't really think I could add anything to that anytime soon. Um, I also don't need books. Like, I don't need to go spend money on books, but I also have my whole book cart. So I do have more room than I'm thinking. I think before I get too like involved with this shelf, I wanna just sprinkle in all the books that I've already read. And I think what I'm gonna do is turn them like turn the spines around so I already know I read them even though just by looking at it, I can tell you what I read because yeah I, there's a lot more romance that needs to be added and where I have them right now I don't want to keep them there I want to be able to have all my books together and you know 
according to their spots. So let me get all the books I read in 2022. The physical book count is not that many because I did a lot of audio and I did a lot from the library. I don't have another 75 books to add. I only have, I think, maybe like 25 to 30, which isn't terrible. So let me go grab those, add them in, and then we'll figure out this shelf. I had to go walk away, have lunch and come back because this is getting a little stressful and I am like proactively trying to save space. But at the same time, like I could use that space for these books that I have left. I literally have three books left and I have two shelves worth of romance books and nowhere to put them. So I am thinking about maybe taking away the space that I like saved ahead of time for other books and putting these books there. I'm just really conflicted. Let me show you guys what I'm working with. Okay, so the top shelf here, this is book, like authors that I have multiple books for already. So that's what's going on on the top shelf. And I'm saving this space here because I still have the rest of L. Kennedy's books to get. Other Colleen Hoover books that I most likely will acquire, but L. Kennedy is coming first, which is why I'm thinking, okay, let me save that space because this is the L. Kennedy section. Then down here, this is just an extension of that. So just more authors that I have multiple books for already. And then from here over, actually from here over is all like single author books, which is where these would go but there's no space and I don't know if I want to start a third shelf just for three books. But then I remembered that I have all these books over here that I kind of made part of like my coffee stash and like the vibe up there. But in, real in reality, I could put them down here and it would help me make a third romance shelf. And then I could just replace the books that are up there once I accumulate more books over time and put them, those over here and then leave that empty. That's what I'm thinking. There's just like so many options when you organize a bookshelf that it's like, you could do it one way, but then you think of something else and then you think of something else. I haven't even touched my book cart yet. My book cart's gonna probably be empty for a little while. <sighs> Until maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll put my TBR there. I don't know, maybe I'll wait. My birthday is coming up. So actually by the time you guys watch this, my birthday will have passed. My birthday would have been yesterday. So hopefully I get more books, but we'll wait and see. Or if I get gift cards. I know I have one gift card to Barnes and Noble so far. So I will be getting more books. So maybe I should just like keep saving space, make a third romance shelf, save the space. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. I didn't realize how many romance books I have. Also, I added the books that I already read to my shelves. So I did that over there too. I don't know if you could see it from here, but there's just like where, okay, so where the mug is, like right, right where my finger is, over to the edge, is all hardcovers that don't have a spot. So like, I'm Every Little Meet Cute and Seven Days in June. Like those are the only two hardcover romances that I own. So I'm not gonna put them with my paperback romances. And then anything that's just like literary fiction, um, which is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And then the winners, I just don't have room on that shelf. So I just added them. They have their own little spot down there. And I already know I read those. So I guess it's kind of, it makes sense that it's all together. So I guess I will make a third shelf and keep romance. Running out of room. Actually, no, I'm not running out of room but I just don't wanna to have to rework this again. <laughs> so I'm gonna move these books now and I'll give you guys an update probably later tonight to be honest because my lunch break is just about to be over and I've done all this on my lunch break and I'm not gonna be able to touch it again until after five. So 
Let me put the last finishing touches on it for now and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so I think we're done with the book setup for now. I just kept the books over here because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. And I'm still undecided about my book cart. So I'll show you guys what I ended up doing on this shelf because it just took me a very long time to do. This top shelf, like I mentioned before, is all authors that I have multiple books for and I'm saving some space because I'm gonna have more Al Kennedy books to put there. This shelf I ended up splitting. So this is just an extension of what would be up here. Romance authors that I have multiple books for. And then over here, I put my book club candle with the January book club picks. Then we come down here. These are all romance books. I only have one book from the author. So I put those there. I'm sure it's gonna accumulate over time. Then down here, I have thrillers. And down here, I just got a new garbage can. So hold on, let me move this. So down here is um, contemporary and literary fiction by, these are ones I bought. The back pile is arcs that I have to go through. This middle pile is books that I also bought, also literary fiction and contemporary fiction. Over here we have nonfiction and poetry. Again, I have to go through those. Some of them I've read, some of them I haven't. So I need to figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm either donating or listing on Pango Books. The last thing I have to do is decide what I'm doing with my book cart. I think I'm just gonna kind of wait on it. I have space for more books, so I might as well not like force something on there. So I don't know, maybe I'll put like my TBR for the quarter, like January, February, March. Put those books there. I don't know. I haven't decided. So I think that's gonna be the end of this video because I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. Finish the shelves, finish that shelf. You guys already saw that. And yeah, that's it. We're done. And then I'm keeping, like I said before, I'm keeping the books that are by my coffee stuff over here just because, I don't know, it's a vibe. So we might as well. But maybe I'll put that as more genre specific because right now it's just a whole bunch of black, like spine books. And there's no rhyme or reason for any of them. Like there's some thrillers, there's some romance, there's some dystopian, uh, fantasy. It just, it doesn't make sense over there. So maybe I'll organize that. But for right now, I'm gonna end this here. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at how I organize my shelves. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. It would be, I would be so thankful if you did subscribe and let me know if you like this kind of video so I can maybe do more like, book organization so you guys can get some ideas for your shelves at home or if you're thinking about getting these kinds of shelves maybe this helped so yeah that's it i will see you guys in my next video bye finishing this video and it's already done but I have to show you guys oh he's so cute hold on look who's in the bookshelf I made him a little reading corner oh we're not focusing there we go the oven is on and he does not like the oven whatsoever so he was halfway in there anyway so we just put the blanket in there and now he's chilling maybe I should make a little reading corner here and like put pillows and whatever but look how cute he is just want to show you guys that and I'll see you in my next one.